Welcome to the Spin Down Podcast. Uh, we are going to be testing out playing Magic with a chess clock, as you can see. Obviously, I don't have a real chess clock, and plus you couldn't really see the time. So we're going to use an app that I have on my phone. It's uh, me, Tiny. And me, Andre. Um, we'll be playing Blue White Merfolk versus Eldrazi Tron. Yes. All right, so let's uh, start out by figuring out who goes first. Beat that, Andre. You said low roll. Uh, <laughs> roll a 10. All Not right. beating that today. I'll be on the play. Good luck. Yep. Also keep. All right. So the idea is that we will hit the chess clock every time we pass priority, priority. and we'll see how many times we screw this up. up. All right. So, so started? yeah, that's one thing I was wondering: is should we have started for Mulligan decisions? Start over and do that? No. no. So that's one thing to point out: is that's something we have to think about: is should we have done it for Mulligan decisions? Probably. Mm -hmm. So one strike against. All right. I'll give you that three seconds and all right. All right, so curse catcher. Is it good? Yes. All right, so go to <laughs> attack step. <laughs> See, that's. Oh, God. Um, second main phase. End step. Your upkeep. <laughs> See, that's another thing is can we shortcut is another question. You so your upkeep. So I think you should be able to say I have nothing to do. Am I upkeep? All right, so draw stuff. All right, so we can let's draw. say that we can shortcut. So okay. first main phase. Uh, go ahead. Okay. Oh God, <laughs> that's god awful. All right, my turn. this is terrible. Yep. <laughs> I'm glad I was on the winning side. <laughs> Merfolk. All right, um, Lord of Atlantis. Uh, who's else? Combat. Good. Move to attackers. Yep. <laughs> Attack. <laughs> Andre, you shortcut. <laughs> Damn. Yep. <laughs> All right, take two. Okay. Uh, <laughs> End step. End step. Your turn. All right, upkeep. <laughs> Draw step. No, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Um. Oh yeah, the expedition map. <laughs> yep, good. Okay, end step. <laughs> sure. All right. So draw step. Uh huh. I guess you have to. It's so weird. Like, how do you put a if you're shortcutting? How do you put a stop in someone's draw step? If you're shortcutting and not passing. Yeah, you can't. I don't think shortcutting is an option because yeah. of that. Yeah, so we've already figured out that this is super bad with having to. So first main phase. Um, Silver Gill showing you Lord of Atlantis. Yes. Uh, trigger. Trigger result. Swing for four. Damage. Take four. Yep. Fourteen. Second main. End step. Alright, so upkeep. you're upkeep. Draw step. Draw step's good. Um, uh, you have to click your... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Effects. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so all Jeez. strategy goes out the window because he's just way too tilted from. <laughs> <laughs> Damn right. Uh, reveal the power plant. Sure. 
<laughs> so what do you think? Oh, so far? and shuffling. Yeah. Because Moto shuffles for you. Yep. <laughs> Get wrecked. I want. Do you pass priority? Do you pass time when you hand your deck off to be cut? Yep. <laughs> are we doing this as a best of three? Because I feel like you guys are gonna run out of time. Play power plant. Yep. Cast another expedition map. <laughs> yep. Move to my end step. Yep. Alright, so. Up on tap. Upkeep. Upkeep. <laughs> draw a step. Draw, go ahead and draw. Alright. Um. Yeah. Which one makes three? This one. Uh, target your tower. Um, sure resolves. Trigger. Meddling Mage is not castable. Nope. Mm, Lord of Atlantis. Sure. Which might just be almost easy. <laughs> All right, combat. Mm -hmm. Move to combat. Uh, yeah, combat. All right. Attack for four, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm at fourteen. fourteen. You had lethal for just jam mutable. <laughs> 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 okay. Take it. Okay. Um, second main. End step. No effects to end step. All right. We also like. How would you figure out like? Untap. When does the clock change to his turn for my turn? Is another thing. So I'll pass for your upkeep. Sure. Upkeep. Draw step. Draw's good. And I think you would click draw step after you draw because I can't respond until after you've drawn the card. This is just awful. <laughs> this is this is pretty awful. Um, do I want to? I'm just dead next turn, aren't I? Yes, yeah. that is the man. <laughs> okay. This is the one creature. Hey, hey. It's spreading seeds. Yeah, my spray um, and seats. My, my spray and seats. All right, so pause. All right, now. And now we get two and a half minutes to the sideboard. Once, once you, all right, I'm going to start it. Hold on, hold on, Ty. <laughs> Starting now. Uh, also, Lord, coding is way worse than card, two and a half minutes. That doesn't include shuffling, right? I don't think it should because on Moto, you just go these three out. See, then we should three. also get an extra minute because we're not going to shuffle on our time. I think there should just be no time on shuffling. Okay. Like you get two and a half to board, and then once both are boarded, you shuffle your deck thoroughly. Oh, good. So on Moto, the way it works is if you're not boarded by the two and a half you just present your main deck i don't know how you would do that in paper <clears throat> you'd probably have to have it's starting to sound more and more and more like if this were a thing you'd have to have a judge at every table <laughs> yeah and you'd probably have to have the judge do the timer yeah and oversee all this and it would only be feasible on like top eights of pro tour yeah which are already just not timed yep so who cares <laughs> So you have a minute. Yeah, so the nice thing is Moto has your deck laid out for you. Yeah. So when you know what three cards you have to count or whatever. Yeah, you would definitely have to add more time to the sideboarding. Alright. We can talk about sideboarding afterwards. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, the weird thing with sideboarding is like you take your cards out and you add them in almost immediately. That if you ran out of time, if the rule was you had to present your main deck. <laughs> yeah. Like, you'd have to like pull out your three cards. Yeah. Get your and have someone cards. verify that you're presenting your main deck. But like you wouldn't be able to. You'd have to take your three mm, cards yeah. out, set them to the side, get your three cards on the side, go. These are my changes. Yeah. And then do them. Yep. And then say I am done. <laughs> Let's not start the clock till we're done with mulligans, because I. That's what we did for the first game, so let's just keep it the same for. Weird. I don't think this match is going to get dictated by time. Yeah. But it is a really good uh, show of how, how much of a pain this is. <laughs> also, and neither of us are playing counter spells. Could you imagine? <laughs> All right, you're good. You're good too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, are you keeping? Like, I'm not gonna say. Well, that's or like, um, you don't have to say if you're gonna be on the play or the draw of game two until after both players are presented. Um, because it obviously can change sideboarding choices. So it'll always be funny when like someone immediately ends the game is like, are you gonna be on the play on the draw? It's like an F and M. I'll tell them, but in like a higher level event. A lot of guys are like, "You're gonna be on the play." Yeah. Oh man, have you ever run into anyone that's like, "Oh, or, um, was it they lose the die roll and they're like, so you'll be on the draw, right?" Hoping that someone will just randomly say yes because that's what they're used to saying. That one's always fun. We should come up with a random judge question to ask Kreiner this week. Or next week or something. Because I think that would make a good segment. Is um, six cards, Andre. How do you feel about asking that one? If someone says you'll be on the draw. And, and they say, say yes. Okay, okay. yeah, we can ask him that. And then be like, actually, no, I'm on the play. Are, are you... Yeah, well, we can ask him that this week. Um, I'll keep. Alright. Scry. Thanks for coming up with the questions. I would ask <laughs> I guess I just shortcut the whole thing. I guess it doesn't matter. Any effects? I don't have the clock to. <laughs> yes, map resolved. <laughs> um, go ahead. <laughs> Up key. <laughs> Draw step. <laughs> God. Aether vial. Resolves. Alright, pass turn. Upkeep. Good. <laughs> uh, draw step. <laughs> You're good. Uh, land. I can't end respond step. to land, so no, that's, no, no, that's, that was that's end step. step? Yeah. Okay. Alright. Upkeep. I have a trigger. Upkeep. Uh, trigger results. Alright, I'll put it to one. Okay. Draw step. Would miss a whole lot less uh, aether vial. <laughs> Merfolk. Sure. Adept showing you master. Results. Trigger. True result. Go ahead. Uh, no, no effects during end step. Untap. Upkeep. Sure. Draw. Oh. 
<laughs> Draw. Uh, wrecked. Also, if you edit this, you'll have to edit out the <laughs> swearing. Damn it. Might as well just keep on letting them out. <laughs> I just wasted a turn, go ahead. Yeah. Well, so, I'll give you, yeah, strategic advice. Search the land up now and play it. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true. Because this is how you draw Natural Tron. <laughs> just get him. But I, I didn't want to get Natural Tron. I wanted to get Temple. That's how you would have been Natural Tron. <laughs> yeah, I'll draw a Tron piece now. Is that end step? Yep. Activate. No effects. Curse catcher. All right. Upkeep. Trigger. Draw step. Spreading seas your ghost quarter. Trigger. Combat. Yep. Before damage activate. Sure. <laughs> Take five? Yep. Alright. You go to 15. End step. Good. Upkeep. On tap. Upkeep's good. Draw step. Uh, land. Realistically, you always go for the one that makes the most. Yeah, I guess that's what I would have done for that. Is that for end step? Yes. Alright. Uh, upkeep. Mm -hmm. I have a trigger. Sure. Well, I guess I'll just play that. That's fine. Okay. Uh. <laughs> um, I'll take it up to three. Draw step. The tower makes three, right? Yes. Yep. I'll hit the tower. Sure. You mean the mine? Oh, is that a mine? Yep. I hate that mine so much. Yeah. Got him. Oh, I thought it was a tower, too. So we were just talking about how you were searching for the one. That's the you were like, yeah, what about uh, <laughs> Trigger. <laughs> like I'm playing magic online. <laughs> Letting the timer run down for no reason. Activate. Mm -hmm. I guess that's a <laughs> combat. Yep. What is he? What are they? Wait. <laughs> uh, two, two, three, two, two, or three, three. Okay. It's eight. So. They all have island walk. I'll help you. As opposed to other people who sit there looking like they're going to block. And they're like, block. I'm like, they have island. <laughs> okay. Okay, right, so take uh, eight. Yep. You go two seven. Mm -hmm. Fast turn. Um, oh God. Man, that would feel really good though. Just waiting. <laughs> I love doing that. They like they're tanking and tanking. And they come up with the correct blocks, and you're like, you can't possibly do that. <laughs> oh, it's real fun when you have a Kira out and a an Aether Vial and a. Reality. 
Body Smasher. <laughs> yep. Uh, combat. Yep. Declare attackers. <laughs> yep. Uh, uh, declare blockers. No blocks. Damage. Okay. <laughs> Damage. <laughs> Take nine. Okay. I go to eleven. End step. End step's good. Okay. Here I'll keep. I'll run that. <laughs> Draw. So that's good. Uh, show you this master. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll cast this. Sure. Activate. Yeah. For a billion. Yeah. yeah. I guess I missed the clock a couple of times. <laughs> oh God, was that awful? That was pretty painful. <sighs> All right, the clock's a bad idea. Any uh, thoughts on that? I uh, can't yeah, I disagree. Thought it, I thought it was a bad idea before I realized yeah. just how bad it was. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I definitely hadn't thought of the so many priority passes. I kind of thought of it as like during your turn, the clock's ticking down for your turn, and during my turn, it's ticking down for my turn. But the I can waste time on just, your turn. Yeah, yeah. The game plan would just be like thinking, thinking, yeah. thinking. No, you're good. Because you don't want to do it too much because you'll get slow play. But if you do it enough. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely just a... Yeah, it's not good. But hey, it was worth trying. We got a video out of it. Yeah. Um, yeah, so uh, thanks for tuning in to the Spin Down Podcast's test of a uh, chess clock in a magic match to see how awful it was. Um, tune in every Wednesday night at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to see our uh, either gameplay streams or just the podcast episodes. Anything from you guys? Mm. Alright, have a good one.